Whatever principle of intelligence we attain unto in this life, it will rise with us in the resurrection. And if a person gains more knowledge and intelligence in this life through his diligence and obedience than another, he will have so much the advantage in the world to come. There is a law irrevocably decreed in heaven before the foundations of this world upon which all blessings are predicated. And when we obtain any blessing from God, it is by obedience to that law upon which it is predicated. Majestic Highlands and scenic Lowlands, I greet thee. For me, finally, the dawn of mortality. I have so long awaited this moment. At last, I am to be born. O oh, kind, dear, loving Father in heaven, I thank thee for this privilege. And there you are, my Michael. How we walk together in Heavenly Father's presence and contemplate it in joy, our earthly existence. There you are, a living soul, your spirit united with a mortal body. Soon, my love, I too will be as you. To be born, one must pass through death, spiritual death, and enter into mortality in a world of opposition, where among the thorns and thistles, the rose in splendor bloom, and among the seeds of death are sown the seeds of life, among the seeds of sorrow are sown the seeds of joy. Michael, my love, do you remember the faith we had in each other? The faith that we would follow God's laws and through righteousness be led one to another to be united for eternity? Of course you can't remember. You must learn it again in mortality as you drink the sweet cup of the gospel. You have passed through the veil and no longer can remember. I, too, now will join you. I place all my faith in God, our Father, that he will lead me through life, that he will bless me with the talents I need and the ability to overcome the adversary, that I may keep my second estate, even as I have kept my first. But how well I know that as always, the choice is mine. No one can force me, and no one can force you, Michael. I place my faith in you also. It is now time. I must enter the womb of my dear Earth Mother, and soon I'll make the cry of life and enter the Earth world of light and darkness. A child, innocent am I, I am alive in Christ, I am not accountable or capable of committing sin, I am pure, as I am, 
of such is the kingdom of heaven. It is a world of opposites that I live in. I now recognize the good and the bad. I now know the basics of right and wrong. I am ever growing in wisdom, in stature, in light, and in knowledge. I am now capable of taking upon me the responsibility for my actions. If I am to attain perfection, I must choose the right. No, I don't understand everything about life. Does anyone? But I do know that my Father in Heaven wants me to take upon me the name of His Son, Jesus Christ, and become as He is by doing the things that He would have me do. I will keep His commandments. to be young, to be alive, but now, more than ever, I am beginning to see the great seeds of evil wrapped up in beautifully deceiving packages, luring youth to plant them, great seeds of evil that grow into thorny thickets and wall the planter in a world of sorrow, hate, greed lust, envy, malice, and death. I see that for whatsoever thing there be, therein is a purpose, be it to life or to death. But I am concerned over my friends who fall into the snare of the tempter's trap and are deceived into believing that youth is the time to sow one's oats and taste of all that the world has, be it for their betterment or destruction. O oh, youth with song and laughter, go not so lightly by. Have pity and remember how soon thy roses die. We believe in being honest, true, chaste, benevolent, virtuous, and in doing good to all men. Indeed, we may say that we follow the admonition of Paul. We believe all things. We hope all things. We have endured many things and hope to be able to endure all things. If there is anything virtuous, lovely, or of good report or praiseworthy, we seek after these things. With all my heart, with all my soul, I want to go to thy house, O oh Lord. Help me to find someone who is true, honest, just, pure, virtuous, who will take me to thy house and have me in the bonds of the eternal and everlasting covenant. O oh my Father, for my priesthood I am grateful. I covenant with thee to give all that I have, even my very life, to the upbuilding of thy kingdom. So thankful am I that thou hast led me to Kathy. How like an angel she looked as she kneeled beside me in thy house, covenanting with me, and I with her, and we with thee, to have each other in life and in eternity. My Kathy, she is true as light, radiant as faith, golden with virtue, glistening with the rays of celestial hope, and clothed with the mantle of charity. I thank thee, dear Father, for sending me Michael. 
I somehow feel thy divine hand, which has guided and shaped my life. I am thankful that I chose him, and he chose me. I am thankful for the dear little child that thou hast blessed us with. How we love and cherish her. We covenant with thee to teach her truth. For well we know it is truth that makes us free and fills our soul with sweet peace in a world torn by war. Even as my mother read to me as I was yet on her knee, I will constantly read to our little girl the words of Milton. Mortals that would follow me love virtue. She alone is free. She can teach ye how to climb higher than the spirit chime. Or if virtue feeble were, heaven itself would stoop to her. Michael, dear, oh my love, the taps of war call you. I pray to heaven above for thy safe return. There is no peace on earth. Hate rules the world. Since the dawn of time, when evil first cursed the soil of Mother Earth, and Father Adam became mortal, death and darkness have fought life and light. So long as there is sin, there can be no peace. The wages of sin is death. Go, my husband. Your country has called. Go with the peace of the gospel in your heart. Be ever true, my Michael. daughter, we must be brave. No, say not that daddy is dead, for he lives. Oh yes, they have laid his body in the grave. But my darling, daddy will one day take up that body again. We will be together as a family. Yes, life can be cruel all the pain and all the suffering, all our toil and effort is well worth it. It is all but for a moment. Yes, Kathy, life is only a moment of eternity. There was one who, though he was guilty of no crime, was tried and convicted. They raised this man upon a cross. He has suffered for all our sins. He has paved the road to peace and happiness. For God so loved the world that he sent his only begotten Son, that whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. He told the world, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, Yet shall he live. My Kathy, thou art true as light, radiant as faith, 
golden with virtue, glistening with the rays of celestial hope, and clothed with the mantle of charity. Oh, Michael, take my hand. You in your world, and I in my world, and together our lives entwine. We will be together, for we are one. Now my life comes to a close. These past few months I have suffered greatly. But somehow, through pain, I understand happiness and joy. I know, Michael, that you are near. It has been lonesome these past years without you. But you never really left me. You just went ahead to prepare the way. I am so grateful that I was able to live to see our daughter kneel at the altar in the house of the Lord with her chosen husband, as we once did, and covenant with him for time and for all eternity. God has been good to us. I have fought a good battle. I have done what I was sent here to do. Come, Michael. I am ready to join you and work for the day of resurrection when our spirits will take upon them once again our bodies and become living souls eternal celestial beings. My mortal life is finished. must needs be that there is an opposition in all things. If not so, righteousness could not be brought to pass. Neither wickedness, neither holiness nor misery, neither good nor bad. Wherefore all things must needs be a compound in one. Whatsoever thing there be under the heavens, Therein is a purpose, a reason for being, be it unto life or unto death. Among the thorns and thistles, the robes and splendor blooms. Among the seeds of death are sown the seeds of life. Among the seeds of sorrow are sown the seeds of joy.